Cool and clean against Gen G if they want to stand a chance against them. The North American squad, the desk was talking about it. They have struggled to find any wins in her HP and not a lot of mana to work with. Doran also almost oom. We'll see if Gen G really wants to execute on this. Chovy's gonna lead the way, find the initial root. Fudge down to 100 health. One more hit, will do it. It's first blood. Delight gonna see if he can find a rocket crab. It's been it. pulled in. The damage finding its way onto the Cloud9 support, but he stays alive. Berserker's got pays. Berserker's got paid. Delight Fudge gets maybe in a bit of danger here as Chovy has made his way over. Peanut on his way as well. Fudge's ultimate will connect onto door, and the flash comes out, but he has tower oh, aggro as well. Oh, Fudge. The <laughs> flash there. Gen G, this game definitely feels a lot on Fudge. They're looking for another play. Yes, sir. Fudge found out here. The engage from the Orn, the damage from the Kha'Zix. No prayer. The real reward here would be the Rift Herald. Now, hold on. Blabber just immediately being engaged on there by Delight, but the counterattack from C9 oh. might be enough. Super Mega Death Rocket going to take the Poppy down to 100 HP, and Chovy secures the kill. The downtown damage from Pays guarantees Gen G come out on top. As you rightly said, Flowers, the involvement of Pays' ultimate is really what swung in the favor of Gen G. The hook oh, connects. Oh, Sven, what are you doing there? Peanut just got himself a whole another. Both AD carries sitting on the Gale Force with the completed Berserker's Greaves. Eclipse now done on the Kha'Zix for Peanut. Blabber a little far forward here in the river. And when they see the enemy jungler, Gen G wastes no time. Blabber's splattered. And that's Gen G getting even more money for their AD. Force back the TP flank comes in from the Scion. C9 looking like they might have found their one final Hail Mary to stop this, but Blabber's already been engaged on by the entirety of Gen G. Fudges into the back line, but the damage is already poured in, and Cloud9's lost two men. They lose the jungle, they lose the AD carry, they lose the top laner, they lose the turret. They've lost everything, and Gen G didn't and break. And they just run down C9. Meanwhile, bottom side, nice, 7S. Peanut has been owning the vision game, and Gen G have been owning the map. Now with the Baron down to 5,000, they're gonna fire off Doran's ulti. They find the knock up there. Back in the pit, Blabber's already down. There will be no steal today. The smite will come down in just a second, and there it is. Gen G Flash on him. He's gonna try to get away from this one. Peanut's gonna lead the charge as the depth charge seals his fate. Peanut grabs the kill, and Fudge has to flash just the to Doran make sure. Gets right back to the turret. All right, call the Forge God, flies out, but it doesn't hit a whole lot of anything. Now you've got Doran here on the front line, gonna be taken very low, he dies, but they get the tier three turret there. Cloud9 trading a structure for the enemy top laner. Now Chovy's in the middle of everybody, the Nautilus will be the front line as Pei starts free firing into Fudge. Berserker's coming around from behind, trying to find a little bit more damage as Blabber is zoned away by Peanut back in the mid lane. Chovy just continues front lining and Page continues firing. It's Fudge next for the guillotine as everybody on Cloud9's heads will roll. It's gonna stick around and do it now. There's nothing more C9 can do to defend this one. Gen G were too mean, too clean, and they are not messing around. They'll see if they might be able to grab one more kill here. There's the pull. Peanut goes on a rampage, and Gen G goes up one nothing. Clinical execution from Gen G. You leave them isolated, then it is kind of annoying. Career wise, Chovy doesn't have a huge number of Vex games, but of the three that he has, 100% win rate. The man the Vex, Labba in a position to. Oh, there we go. That's the grand entrance we're looking for. Sven's caught out, and it's Peanut getting the first blood. And Berserker well, tries to. Up, so there's no support here. It's just a battle between junglers. Oh, Peanut. Looking to win this battle very quickly. Blabber gets away over the wall, but the flash follow from Peanut blends the bug. G bringing down their jungler, their mid laner to go after Berserker. The fear into the spin of the knockup. The damage is true, and Chovy takes the kill. Gen G's at 3 0, make it 4. Peanut kills Blabber. Again. So difficult for C9 to do anything oh. in neutral territory, especially Butch when flash. your jungler's already dead. Chovy goes in and they find the kill with the help of Peanut, and they're going to make it 2 immediately. The kill on the Nami. Another one comes through. The Cassante is down. Pays gets the kill, and Berserker runs for his life. The corrupting potion burns him away. And Jin has Hex Flash. 
Scion engaged, coming out as Doran leads the charge. Not gonna find the engage onto anybody in particular, but now he's soaking the damage out of everyone. Gen G not finding that coherent engage they were looking for, but now they're just gonna chase after Cloud9 with their advantage. Vex ulti goes wide, Peanut wants to find the knockup, but he's only found it on Fudge. Uh, if it asks, goes back in and he finds Delight before the quickness can ever be deployed. Joby's gonna be killed now next. Blabber grabs the kill, and Fudge tries to walk away. Peanut goes on a rampage. Observers are highlighting it for us. Genji attack. Why attack Kasante when you can just instantly kill the Lucian instead? Genji. You only live once, they might not be living very long. C9. Barely doing any damage to the Baron, just trying to get Genji to come over here. MS dashes forward, immediately has to revert the distortion, and now C9's looking for the angle as Fudge goes over the wall, but Sven's under pressure. Peanut into the back line, already finding the kill on the Nami. Blabber barely escapes as Fudge is all the way off in no man's land. They've lost their jungle, they've lost their support, and Cloud9 is on the run. A teleport comes in, and Peanut wastes no time jumping right back onto Berserker. Pains with the flash over the wall aggressively. Berserker stands still and accepts. And he's escorting him in. Nexus turret, Sage. Goodbye, Cloud9. They've got a couple of guys left trying to defend, but the Nexus is open, and Gen G's ready to wrap this one up real fast. They find another kill, and Cloud9's got nothing they can really do. It might have only been a LeBlanc clone, but the real one won't do much more. Gen G's going to match point. A desperation, Baron from Cloud9. They saw the position that they were in. Ring they Finals MVP in their 3-1 victory over T1, who was the first place LCK team during the regular split. This guy's nuts, and if he gets excited, he's taken over the fight. Genji and a little bit if they fully commit to it. Oh, we're gonna have a smite fight over this, it looks like. Secured by Blabber, but now Berserker's gotta be careful. He's at half HP, MNS gonna rotate down to the fight first, but chovy has got the level six. Keep your eyes on the Ari. Can he land a charm? Can he find some damage? Genji's still hanging around. Low health on Berserker. Fuck. Blabber also a little bit compromised here. Imanes now taking some damage too. Chofi jumps in. Unstoppable, but it doesn't matter. The Cassante's already down, and Sven's caught next. Chovi grabs the kill, and Blabber has to take the blast cone away. But Genji, oh Doran, you need to be careful. Fudge oh, going in, Doran. Nice body slam. Oh. Flashes away oh. back underneath the turret. Survives with just what had to be 20 health. Oh. The Shuriken. Fudge gets a solo kill in the top lane. Have to bring that to the rest of the. Uh oh. Uh, oh no! Kobe, I think that might have been one of the greatest caster curses of all time. Fudge is down to just 50 health. Doran continuing to chase. Body slam forward. He takes a big old swig. He tags Fudge and Doran gets the solo kill. After the 10 minute mark, so it has pretty much the entire duration there for the turret plates. And Blabber is just set up by Delight and knocked down. The first mythic of the game. Flashing from Doran. Ooh. Doran, oh my goodness gracious. He just knocks him around like a pool shark. Another kill over to Gen G. Another kill for the top laner. And now in bottom side, Cloud Nine's looking to find the dive. Fudge will kill off Pays, but is he going to be taken down in response? Yes, he will. Peanut gets one back. Picking up number three. Meanwhile, back in the top lane, Berserker's calling nothing. And Doran throws out a barrel and ready to pop him over the head. He doesn't quite have the distance. Doran overcommits, and Berserker gets the kill. And don't Smart here, they rotate them in the mid lane, the safest of the lanes is another. He just doesn't miss with these knocking the enemies back and forth. Super Mega Death Rocket coming in from downtown, but it does not connect. Imanes might be able to find himself a kill here. He's got to be careful, and he gets it done with the Kassante. Can he get out, though? Here comes Kha'Zix. Can he get out? He's trying to run away. Peanut looking for the angle, tries to use the stealth, but as soon as Blabber shows up, he doesn't want it anymore. Pick. Blabber goes in for the kick, and Imanes is ready for the follow-up damage. Peanut tries to outplay in the 1v2, but he's kicked upside the mouth, and Blabber grabs a shutdown. The ult plus charm. Will face check into MS. Blabber following down here as well, seeing if they might be able to follow this up. But as soon as Peanut's also available, it's no shot, no chance. Chovy grabs the kill on the enemy jungler. And now MS has to try to escape. Chovy's still following up. Chovy's coming for a flank. Ari coming up through the jungle. 
Wild Nine just gonna go forward. They look for the dive instead. They find the kill on Delight, but now they gotta be careful. Pays is only about one third HP. TP's coming in from both top laners. C9 looking to disengage as Jovi finds the lockdown on the enemy jungler, and Blabber's gonna be taken low, but it's Berserker taken down. Peanut grabbing the kill on that one. As MS is in the middle of four. One v four. He cannot win, and Jovi goes on a killing spree on the side of Gen G. Jovi's still ready to go and find some more. Charm of the wall hits the target, and there's the follow up from Dor. Gen G play like a machine, and Fudge is looking to break the cogs. He goes in and finds oh. one kill. Now he's going to grab the second, but Chovy fires back and picks up Blabber. And Sven. Fudge in the mid lane. Okay, Delight finding a hook. They get MS. The tankiest target there on the side of C9, but it's not even going to matter that much. Dorian's here on the front line. He's gone gold. Peanut taking some damage from Fudge, who goes over the wall with a slicing maelstrom. He's not going to find any kills just yet. Pays grabs the kill back over the cannon instead. Not a single death on Gen G. That was Cloud9's try, and it wasn't good enough. Such a great flash from Fudge. Chovy's looking for more. Chovy wants Berserker. He nearly gets him. He does get him. It's a clean ace for Gen G. It's whenever they can. Just trying to hold these guys off, but it's nigh impossible at this point in the game. Doran's going to take down the Tier 2 turret back over in mid as Cloud9's health bars are just not strong enough. m &S is down to just about nothing. He's gone. They're about to fall back in mid. Berserker takes one auto attack and loses all of his health. He's gone before I can finish my my sentence as Fudge and Sven and Blabber can't do anything. The engage is clean. Genji is mean. They are not going to be stopped. It's a double kill back over to Pays. This series was easy. They never even broke a sweat. The number one team from the LCK has that title for a reason. And they will clean sweep North America out of MSI.